Hi guys! In today's video, we're going to be making a small stool. It's a very simple project. All you're going to be needing is a handsaw and a chisel. This is the stool dismantled at the moment. There's no screws, no nails, no glue. It all just slots together. So I'm going to assemble it and show you how it works. There you have it. Isn't that great? I was influenced by a couple of other videos on YouTube from China. This seems to be a popular stool in the villages. So I thought I'd give it a go. And now I'm going to show you how you can do it too. So uh, let's get started. Okay. So the first thing we're going to need to do, I've got a board here of uh, spruce. It's cheap dimensioned lumber. You should be able to pick it up in most uh, big box stores in the States, in Home Depot, something like that. And it's about 20 centimeters wide, it's a bit less. And I've got here just over a meter 20. So what I need for the stool, I'm going to need a piece to sit on of 40 centimeters long, the stretcher that holds the legs and goes underneath, which is also 40 centimeters long and two pieces of 20. So I'm just going to start to mark that out. Oh. I'm going to mark one piece and then I'm going to saw it off. I'm going to use a hand saw to cut the material with. If you've got a jigsaw, you could use a jigsaw. If you've got a table saw, of course, you could use your table saw. If you've got a sliding mitre saw that'll cut 20 centimeters, you could use that. I'm gonna use a hand saw because nearly everyone's got a hand saw. So I've marked 40 centimeters, now I'm gonna cut this line. Okay, so I've connected the board to the table with a couple of clamps. I have a vise, but I know everyone doesn't have a vise, so I'm using clamps. Make sure your work is secure before you start to saw. If you haven't done much work with a handsaw and you want to know how to cut straight, I'll put a link in the video of how to saw straight from another video I have. Okay. Now I'm going to mark up another piece. Also 40 centimeters. Now I need to mark out two pieces for the length. So now I'm going to mark out the bottom of the stool which holds the legs. So this is the piece that's going to support the legs and the top. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to mark a line here. I'm going to mark a line, the thickness of the top. Then I'm going to mark in four centimeters. Centimeters. And this is going to go. Now the next thing I need to mark out is the permission position of the legs. 
and chop off the corners. Now, when I look at the proportions here, I see that this piece is really too big. So I'm gonna rip a piece off, make it a bit narrower. We'll make it 12 centimeters. Now I'm gonna rip that off. Okay, so I'm just gonna rip this piece along here. I'm just using a bench. edge I just ripped off with the saw. If you've got a plane you can clean it up with a plane. If you don't have a plane use a block of wood and a bit of sandpaper. There we go. So now I've got a nice clean edge. Okay as I was saying now I'm going to cut off these corners and make the position for the legs. So now I'm gonna just mark to cut off these corners, which are more aesthetic than anything. I'll measure in at the bottom, three centimeters. From the top, I'll measure down. Well, what looks nice, let's say four centimeters. And the same over here. Like I say, this is just aesthetic, so you can do whatever you like cut any old shape you like or just leave it square even. But I'm going to cut it off and that's going to go. And that's going to go. And then we need the position of the legs. Now, I would like the legs to come out in line with the end of the stool. If I put the legs, I don't know, somewhere in like this and someone sits on the end of the stool, it can tip over. So again, this is just approximately, I think my legs should go something like this, maybe a little bit less angle. This gets left a bit small, so I think I'll make that piece a bit smaller as well. I'm going to come in, instead of three centimetres there, going to come in two centimetres. That looks nice. My legs will be something like this. So now I could do a couple of things. I could take a bevel gauge and say, oh, check my angles and see how many degrees and stuff this is. But I remember when I was starting carpentry, I didn't like the idea of angles and stuff too much. So instead of having to worry about angles, you can just do it by measuring it, like the other line, three and a half centimeters and six centimeters. The same over here, six centimeters. Half centimeters. Now I can put on my leg and mark the thickness of the material. 
this. Now these legs are also going to have a cut here, so it goes half and half. So I want to measure this distance here. It's about 10 centimeters at this angle. So if I measure up here now, five. Five. And join this together. And this is what we're going to cut out. Do the same over here. And this is what's going to go. And on the legs, I also need to cut out five, so then it'll slide up to the top here. My material is exactly two centimeters, which is really nice. And this is 19 centimeters. 19 minus 2, 17. Divide this by 2, it's 8 and a half. And 8 and a half. Basically, all I did, folks, so I just was trying to find the middle of this board where to mark this 5 centimeter groove. Okay, I'll just put my square here. Make sure I'm square. Mark this, mark this, okay, so now I need to remove this piece of material here where the top's going to sit down. So we're just working with a handsaw and a chisel for this project. We used a plane, I know. So I'm going to make a bunch of cuts down here with the handsaw, and then I'm going to knock it all out with the chisel. And the same for all of these joints. I'm going to do saw cuts, chisel, saw cuts, chisel, saw cuts, saw cuts. So let's get into it. I'm just going to pare away and clean up this edge. If you've got a vise, you can hold it in the vise like this. Now this isn't rocket science folks, don't get too hung up about this. It's just a little stool. And if your chisel is not very sharp, you can do this with a block of wood and some sandpaper. You can do it with a rasp. Whatever you've got. You just need to remove a bit of material. Yeah, well, that's nice. This seems pretty flat. And I'm going to cut off these corners. pieces 
these out. And now I'm going to chisel out the waste. My chisel's a little bit wider than this material, so I'm going to take a slightly narrower chisel for this. Should do the job nicely. Chisel's not up to the job, so again, use a bit of sandpaper, use a rasp, use whatever you've got that can remove a bit of material to do the task. Now be careful here, you don't want to break something at this stage, so it should fit in nicely, but you not need to be hammered in. This spruce is very soft, and you can snap it across the short grain here if you're not careful. That's good. So now I'm going to take out these pieces. It just occurred to me that I simply walked over and picked up a narrower chisel when my chisel was too wide. If your chisel's wider than the material and you need to cut out this part, or you need to cut out this part, your chisel's wider, so it's no good, right? So you need a narrower chisel. And if you don't have a narrower chisel, well, I'll show you what to do. I've marked here, a mock-up of this piece and this is what needs to be removed okay so this is what I'm going to do okay so if you make a series of saw cuts close to one another and then with a screwdriver you should be able to just snap off this material. Now I know we're with the grain, it's not ideal. This is not a technique. This is for someone who doesn't have a narrow enough chisel. There we go, torn all those off. Maybe I can just use my saw a little bit like a rasp. bottom there. There you go. So, that's, there we are. That does the job. Okay, so if you don't have a narrow enough chisel, that's the way out of the problem. all the time you can also do something like this if you like put like a stop on the end of your table butt up to the stop Now we just need to cut out two little grooves here and here for this to slot into. So to mark that out, I'm just going to simply flip it over, stand it in the middle, like this, you can check that you're all in line. Can you see that? I'll just use the square on the side to know that everything's all in the same line this and then you 
you can simply mark around. And then these two cuts are just the same as the leg cuts. There we have it. And it works. <laughs> All right, guys. So here we have our nice little four board Chinese style stool without any glue, nails or screws. That's it, it's finished. If you want to finish it more, of course you can sand it and round over the edges a bit. But basically we're done. It'd be a good idea to perhaps put some linseed oil on it or some wax and paint it. And uh, you two can make one of these, it's quite simple. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please like, subscribe, share it with a friend. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.